Hello and welcome back to another exciting episode of Crusader Kings to the Middle Earth Project. Last time we did an attempt to play as Gundabad. And we failed. Yes, thank you. So we're gonna try a new game and I said I had an amazing idea. Um, that I wanted to pick up on... I don't know if it's amazing but it's something I really wanted to do. Um, one of you suggested that I should, if I wanted to play evil, I would play evil men. I think this is actually a great idea, but I won't do so for now. Um, maybe in the uh, next attempt. The double music thing you hear is when I select specific countries, apparently. Um, yeah. It uh, over uh, it adds some music to it. This is an ex. This is weird. These are independent dwarves. These those are the only dwarves that are not part of the Dwarven Nation. Um, what I'm going to attempt is to become a independent dwarf. It's all the same. Counts. Um, I'm gonna try this. I don't know if it's gonna work, so... What the hey? Also... Um... I like the challenge from starting as a count. I, I usually do this in CK2, normally, um... Ethnicity. Uh, we have Kazat, of course. The ethnicity apparently does not really change much in our appearance. Well, let's... First, turn off the headgear so I can actually see what how our face looks like. There. Um, this is not a door face, so I want to create my own house. I think this does not work properly um, because they tend to die off. Um, of course, the important thing is the beard. Come on, give me a beard. Worthy of a dwarf. Of course, I'm young, so that will probably... No, no, it doesn't even change that much. No, this works for me. Hairstyle. You know what? No, some... <laughs> they like, just look panicked most of the time. Um, whatever, this is all fine. Hmm, interesting high color choice there. Yeah, why am I doing this? Oh, this is, uh, <laughs> not from Lord of the Rings. This is, um, from Dragon Age. Um, of course, something underground. Can we get something? More darkish. Yeah, I'm sorry for all the background noises. I don't know what they're making a lot of noise, and I can't help it. It's annoying. Uh, how funny that the entire thing changes. Okay, plane. This is. Um, come on. Just give me something interesting. I think I already know what I want anyway, so... I don't want one of those. Come on. Come on. And by now I've developed a new case of Arizai. Somewhere, come on. You know what? Flag is not really. This is not even a faction flag. This is just your house. Okay, whatever. Um. How about this? We'll make it. Yeah. 
Yeah, something like that. Who cares? Attributes. We are, of course, named Demosa. Our dynasty is named Therdon. Um. See, this is max 2000 because I'm a dwarf. Trust me, if you uh, age these guys way too high, they uh, die off immediately. So, that's at least my experience. Um. So just give him a natural age. We're gonna give him a few. Let's see, a drunk. It is. We gotta give him, of course, a wounded. Cause this fixes itself really quick. Um, where? Are, I don't think this really helps. Um, <laughs> being a dwarven dwarf. Um, strong. That. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that just fucks it up. Oh, come on. Removal traits, damn it. Um, we'll give him wounded. Um, I don't know. Mm. There was another one. Uh, gluttonous. Ugh. Yeah, hmm. I like being ambitious. 45, that means we're still alive. We'll get that through combat, I don't really care. <laughs> we'll get that one automatically. Um, mm, 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 we should have that. I don't know if we get that automatically, but... Uh, Left-handed. Stubborn? No. Selfish. Nope. Must carry one of the miners and a good fertility minus a lot. <laughs> I don't think I'm supposed to uh, take that. <laughs> this gives me the age of a thousand. Um, we should probably give myself dwarf. Um, Skilled, great axe dragon slay. You know what? I'm gonna test this, but we might die off um, at the start of the game. I'm not even joking. Um, so, yeah, there we go. Spent seven, eight minutes. If this goes wrong, eh, I really hope it doesn't. That should be a problem. Because I've tried it again, you know. Because, oh, Max H2000, a crazy thousand year old dwarf, the guy keeled over within a day. <laughs> Which was kind of annoying. No, we have no Palantir, so I don't. I don't. can't remember if there's a Palantir system in this, actually. Uh, yeah, we'll just appoint the highest skilled guys, which should not be that great. Now, I can not remember if I can declare, um, no, I thought, these are, these are not ants, right, they are, yeah, wilderness, so I cannot do that, um, that's actually kind of an issue, not really, but, um, that means we need to fabricate claims on these things, um, uh, train some troops, we are gonna do that, we're gonna scheme. Come on. I said we're gonna scheme and we heal the troops. Yeah, just do that. It is does um now we need to know mm, ten percent yearly is not that great. Uh, we'll of course do not generate anything. We have a crap military, we have can I get any red news? Oh, uh, probably because we're um, too low on the tree there. Um, oh, she is actually quite an interesting wife because she's strong. That might be good for my children. She's slow. She's, she's a dwarf. 
Odd. Yes. Um, do all dwarves have the dwarf trait? Yeah, they do. Um, pick an ambition. We wanna get married. And I hope we're not gonna die off within the first week. Uh, yeah, we'll take the gold for now. Come on, pause it. There we go. Um, <laughs> my wife has a lovely beard. Um, I really should focus on having a son as quick as possible. Paragon as well, spy, and blah 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 blah. So the children thing is daughter. In that case, why don't we become a craftsman? Um, family decisions. Hmm. Middle Earth decisions. Assemble the seven kingdoms. Guardian of Erebor, Captain of Moria, and Captain of. Now, I've tried this in a single player game once. I really don't know, because I own all these things, but I don't know how that works. And employment decisions. Nothing interesting here. Okay. So, I think we wait for now. Um, sure. Uh, that's interesting. I've got, of course, got a different king. Who's my king and where the hell are you? Are you are In Arabor. That's strange. Wait. Wallen Freren? No clue who you are. What do you own? Here. What do you merely. No, oh, it's District of Arabor. Realm of Arabor. You must own something. Ah! Come on! The realm of cargo bot. Uh, so he owns this entire bit here. Okay, okay, okay. Now, of course, dwarven troops, they are incredibly strong, like we saw in the last video. So we don't really need as many troops. Ew! But I uh, got rid of my wounded trade, now I'm scarred. Oh, I get offered a, probably as a marshal. I'll accept. Yeah, we've got 27 freaking marshal points here. I love that. Oh, great. Um, the health plus 15 is probably the reason. I did not do this the last time, I just gave him a lot of good traits. Cause like to, but the health plus 15 probably enables us to live a lot longer. I hope. Um... Now, we are going to need a lot more money. We don't have any vassals, I think. We have one. Alright, that guy is... We own actually the entire region, of course. Holdings are freaking expensive. Um, tax income, influence, levy reinforcement rates. So forges. Forges are, I think... Oh, dwellings. These are 136. We make barely a fucking ducat. Yeah, it's gonna be a very slow game until we um, start colonizing more regions. And I think we're gonna, of course, do a little bit of internal dispute, take over um, this region, and then perhaps strive for... Uh, I don't think we can do that. But we're gonna try to take over the Dwarven Kingdoms um, slowly but steadily. So we should reinforce quite quick now. Okay. It's gonna be a slow starter, I think, but um, I think when everything is going out. Happy New Year! I think when everything works, um, we. We start flowing. We can do a lot. Um, I'm not gonna. I'm not really interested in the war for the ring stuff. We are gonna focus on making dwarves the dominant species instead of the one that's gonna die out. Because you know, fuck the age of man. I'm a dwarf, man. I don't want to die. Um, 
I'm interesting thing though, can dwarves pillage? <laughs> Not that there's anything you want to pillage. <sighs> is this, is the only way out for me, right? Oh, right, and here. So, let's say, um, just make a little bit, oh, sorry for tapping my mic. Uh, let's see, these are, these are elves, so they cannot colonize either, I think, only humans can. So, we're gonna f go for this region here, um, as much as we can. With this idiot, um... Ugh, I need a fucking diplomat. I, uh, in the other game I was playing as the King of Erebor, and, um... I think within a few months, uh, Gandalf joined me, and a guy had like a, um... Uh, uh, diplomacy stat of, I think, 25 to 30, it's ridiculous. I think I can find this guy, because there's find... character. Uh, again, Delph, you currently search all, again, Gandalf, 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 Gandalf is emissary of Isengard right now, Whee. this actually is the Gandalf looking, uh, yeah, yeah, Diplomacy 28, that's just stupid, he wants to become a craftsman, Jesus, the Ring of Fire, or the ring? I didn't know that, Huh. I did not know that. So he's currently in Isengard. Doing his Isengardian duties, I guess. Which is weird. This, uh... This, yes, he is already corrupted by darkness. And then his court is Gandalf. Should be. Yeah, there he is. Um, Gandalf. And you are... The Guardian of Middle-earth. Health plus a hundred. <laughs> because... Uh, mm, let's keep within the role-playing standards. I, I could have given my guy being a Maya dwarf, which would be stupid. But well, whatever. He's broke though. <laughs> um, yeah, but uh, once again, a, s a small uh, we have got. Uh, what do we need for this? Inner fortifications. This gives me. Some piety and fertility and level reinforcement rate. We really need that right now. First, we need more money. And I don't understand the money system well enough to... Uh, let's see. We make 4 from the castle, 0 0.1 for the dirt rows, attack, and we collect 40% of the taxes. That means that we should collect about one... No? Less than a ducat. No. Look, I can't do math. Uh, work with express corner miller, Sauron has regained his ring. <laughs> Power now exists to stop him. Well, this is the opposite of what happened last time. <laughs> oh, goody. Okay. Unleashing a new Age of Darkness. I don't really know what this event does, but... I believe Lord of the Rings, um, the story happens in a period of three years or something like that? From the start of Frodo's setup from Bree, because he moves to Bree and stays there for about one and a half years. But I think, let's say from Rivendell to um, Barad-dûr, it takes, it takes several years, and I think that just happened, and Frodo failed. Denethor is still here. Boromir, oh Boromir is still alive. Woohoo! He finally survived his first movie. Anyway, um, yeah, we're waiting for money. I don't. I cannot do much about this. Do we have any feudal? I think that's interesting because this is a fault. This is a fort and feudal. Um, law cities. Feudal is. I'm going to arrange them fairly common. Normally feudal lords are exempt from paying taxes to the lieges. Uh, we could lower their levies and up their tax. Which... Does make sense for me. I want to become a craftsman. Gives me more martial. It does, however, screw over. We gain a little bit more money because we, we're taxing our uh, vassals. The guy probably hates the fucking shit out of me. But yeah, you know, we earn some money. Why is he earning more money than me? 
bit caustic. Well, crap. So I wasted 50 freaking ducats. In that case, I... I don't know if this... Um, if you complete it, it does something for you. Or... Um, Piety... Piety of at least 500. Is Piety. We again... That's gonna take forever. Um, let's have a daughter so we can, you know, procrastinate it. Well, I mean, fornicate a little bit more. Because I really want children. I don't think dwarves can have multiple wives. Attraction opinion. This character is skilled. <laughs> we are a fucking badass. Still, I want some children because... If this guy dies, the game ends. Speaking of game ending, I'm gonna end the video here. I wanna thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think so far. And like and subscribe. We only ask us in the first video of every series. So if you really like what I'm doing, please, please let me know. <laughs> but yeah, I wanna thank you guys for watching. And see you guys next time. Have a very good day. Bye bye.